morning. Today is December 23rd, 2020. My name is Father Trav, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Friends, humility is a lost commodity among us as Christians today. Rick Warren, an American writer, once wrote, True humility is not thinking less of yourselves. It is thinking of yourself less. James chapter 4 verse 6 adds to this when it says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Friends, my most humiliating experience ever was the day I addressed the faculty and students and friends of Cotterland College Seminary on its anniversary. I approached the lecture and with my script in hand and I looked out on a vast crowd, but many I but my eye, sorry, fell on the distinguished guests seated in front of me. And <laughs> they looked very serious. I immediately took leave of my senses. My mouth dried up and detached itself from my brain. I fumbled the first few sentences and then I began to improvise. Lord, why did I do that? Since I had no idea where I was in my speech, I began frantically turning pages while talking a line of nonsense and baffling on and on and on. And somehow I made it through and I ended. And I slowly crept back to my chair and stared at the floor and just wanted to sink through the earth. I wanted to die at that point. However, it was at that point that I learned that humiliation can be a good thing. Because you see, going up there, I thought I was the best thing since sliced bread. But it's through these humiliating experiences that it humbles you to realize like, you're human, you make mistakes, you're not perfect. And this is the key, my friends, to opening God's heart and to opening our lives. The scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. He showers the humble with grace, my brothers and sisters. God himself said that these are the ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. As we humble ourselves before God today. He lifts us up. Humiliation, my friends, and shame can bring us to God for his shaping and for him to mold us into what he wants us to be. When we fall, we have fallen, my friends, into the hands of God. Let us take a moment now and let us go to God in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, today we ask for your help to walk humbly with our brothers and sisters. It is all too easy for us to fall prey to our flesh and to walk in arrogance, but pride causes division and we desire peace. Lord, help us to humble ourselves in order that we do not let the lies of the enemy overtake us. Rather, help us to count ourselves as equal with one another. It is then that we will stop attempting to be better than others, and we can love their hearts for the unique person you made them to be. Help us to value one another in this humble spirit, so that we may live to the fullest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again. Thank you.